Greetings, I'm Lime. And I am Scoondle. Ah, Scandal. And, and let's, let's play, play a game, game together, together with no sound. Oh, no, no sound. That's terrible. I mean, but people can hear us, right? Because it's time to commit murder. It's no. time to commit murder. I love murder. I've, somebody committed a murder right here. In the on, library. In the library. I was going to say, right here on my blog page, there was a murder. What? Uh, it's in my face and it's a murder! Are you okay? Ah, I'm fine! Oh my fine. Friend, I just shoved green tea pieces in my face! Okay, so are we are really here sour? with uh, Lily's Garden, episode 6, and uh, we are gonna see how they represent our dude Larry here and see how it goes. Uh, and, and, and hopefully... What are we also, though, saving him from? We I, I assume we're saving him from the bees. Or in the, I I don't know, but I assume where he's going. What is this thing? Am I entitled to this thing? This thing is here. Oh God, it's bees. Okay, see, so what I was thinking of was that Roxy had pinned him against the bees, and it was either the dog or the bees. Pick a way to die. Why save him from the dog bees? <laughs> yes. Why teeth smashers? You are. You have. You have. <laughs> Penis smashers and teeth with bees. Why not tooth smashers and teeth with penises? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the good place. God damn it, it's super funny. a quote from the good place, and it was my favorite quote. And we died. We died laughing, laughing for like ten minutes about really penis good. bees. <laughs> Oh, brilliant! You're like, how is that? Like, how does this work? Do they just keep collapsing because they don't have enough blood? Because they have no blood. They only have hero lips, like all insects. And so they're just like, I can't carry it around. Just I can't even fly. fly. These no. things crawling, people going, is this supposed to be horrifying or hilarious? I don't. It's so uncomfortable. Which one? It's so uncomfortable. And yet, strangely. Strangely, strangely buddy. Strangely. Anyway, we're going to go save Larry, Larry because we don't know what the hell he's doing. You All right, tuna. here we go. Oh, he yeah, is being attacked. It's the damn bees. All right, back up. Break it up. Um, break it up. Break ah! it up. Larry, what are you even doing? Oh, just borrowing some honey from my cousin. Uh, do you have any experience with bees at all? No, but how hard? That's me. No, but how hard could it be to get a little fresh honey? Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, it's the that sarcasm. Yep, no, yep. but how hard could it be to get a little fresh honey? Hmm. Batch. Hmm. Ah. I'm gonna set up a little microbrew option inside. Fresh local organic honey ale would sell like hotcakes. Honestly, if you can do your own microbrew, it's actually really cool. That is. But I'm like, hey, you like, actually can brew stuff? You should know how, to, again, as we talked about in some of the earlier episodes with this thing, treat your bees right. Like, yeah, it's very like, important to take good care of your they bees. They are really sensitive, actually. Shockingly. Oh, you know what? Creatures that are specially designed to certain environments are very sensitive. And you know what? There are thousands of species, okay, maybe hundreds, of species of bees. Some of them are honeybees, some of them are not honeybees, and some of them are, are like the ones that are honeybees. There are, there are a few different varieties. Are you saying that they're aesthetic bees? I was going to say, there's aesthetic I'm bees. I'm aesthetically bee. What there are is there's there's these beautiful queen bees, and yeah. they are queer as hell. Oh, <laughs> and then there are king bees, oh, and they are gonna... also king bees. I was going to say, king bees also queer as hell. They kick ass. No kidding. <laughs> All right. I was gonna say, but anyway, um, the different bees are specialized to different, like, environments. Not only are they sensitive to changes, like any, you know, insect is, where they're, insects are way more specialized in many cases, even than, um, like, birds or mammals and things like that, because, mm -hmm. especially not birds, but, but even than mammals, right. because they are... They, they develop in specific, you know, regions because that's where they function. If you take them out of their proper, like, humidity or their proper, you know, temperature range, what have you, you can, it doesn't go well for them. You can actually run into the problem now that we've had, for example, like with, uh, basically, what is it, the killer bee? Um, mm -hmm. So they brought it over, actually, to the United States, and it st slowly started to become a problem. Right? Because it's been attacking the more chill version, basically, of the, the usual honeybee, which is actually called the European honeybee. Right. And it's caused a lot of problems. Like, and right. it's also very violent. It tends to swarm a lot. That particular bee variety is very dangerous to a lot of people. There's also a similar problem in relation to ants. Mm. When we accidentally brought fire ants over to the United States, yeah. guess what? Because it was specialized for very specific areas, and this was not an area that challenged it very hard, 
Man, so you can, have, you can have two problems with introducing foreign species. One, they will die there, like the plants we were just talking about in the garden. Right. And they will struggle and, and suffer and die. Or two, they'll become ridiculously invasive because their natural, like, predators and their natural, basically, controls don't exist there. Right. But with bees, mo many bees tend to be very delicate and you need to take good care of them. Which is exactly the way there's actually a huge amount of dedication to getting rid of invasive species, mm -hmm. like they. Ugh, please, let me do it. For some reason, I don't want you getting stung. I love that feeling, Queen. For some for reason. For some reason, I want to protect you. Because you're... I don't know why, but I will. You shouldn't mess with bees. Just ask me next time. This is a second example of you not communicating with me. We are going to need to develop a better relationship with good, clearer boundaries and expectations. So last time I said you should have talked to me first... I'm going to say, for everything to do with me, you need to talk to me first. And we're just going to establish that boundary. And then if you break it again, since it's been established, then we're going to have to talk differently. Right? Because it was implied ah, before. Well, what can I say? I'm nothing if not spontaneous. Your shirt seems spontaneous, too. The yeah. polka dots are very excited. I, they really are. All right. Can you just go back to the house like your loophole says? Long as I can get that honey later! Sir, you can go to the store and buy honey and make your microbrew with that. Yeah, it's like you do not have an You just literally talked about the house. And now you're basically doing, which according to some people would be considered theft. Yeah, because like, the beehives except for the fact are not that yours. What bothers me is, is we don't actually know what he's talking about. We should have challenged him on his bullcrap. Being like, you cannot just come in here and go, Nope, this is the only way this works. Going, okay, cool, let me talk to your lawyer. So in this case, the game failed to go into what I would consider to be enough depth with Lily going, no, I need to see some sort of proof. On the other hand, we have established that she has been abused, even as recently as her last relationship. Right. So saying that she should think of these things is not necessarily reasonable, but someone should think of these things. Which is also why I'm mad at her lawyer, because she did think to call him. Yes. And what went, does her lawyer do? She went, I'm not the expert. I should talk to the expert. But he's not her lawyer. He's just the lawyer involved. Yeah, She hasn't know. retained him. Yeah. And right now he's kind of being a pain. On the other hand, they also don't know each other very well so they not only do not have a good working professional relationship they have almost no personal relationship which can be very frustrating when like i'm trying to ask for resources and what i'm getting is somebody sort of sashaying off in the other direction going well i can help you but you know we're going well you know it'll just just keep working in that garden honey you'll be fine anyway i'm still frustrated with how larry's being portrayed he shouldn't be stupid like again you can have an undesirable character but they don't have to be a, a unintelligent like yeah exactly all right uh, okay. Crisis averted. Sorry, Buzz Buddies. I'm not letting him anywhere near you again, okay? I'll just build a fence. I'm so good at building everything else. And by that I mean a gate, because the rest of this is already fenced off. Yeah, no kidding. <clears throat> Sigh. Okay. I'm gonna relax and lay down some herb beds. Is he just gonna keep ca oh, causing, like, problem? <laughs> Borf. I still, I love Dog. Dog is a beautiful Dog character. is fantastic. Dog is lovely. I just, I'm still like, you can't rename a child's pet. That is, I'm just gonna like, you cannot do that. Like, it doesn't, it's no good. Yeah. No bueno. <clears throat> look at our fruit tree that is like, full of like... Those look like I lemons. They look too big for lemons compared to the size of our head. I was gonna say they're shaped like lemons, but they look like grapefruits based on their size. Like, mm, huge true. damn lemons. Like, wow. Like, grapefruit, maybe, yeah. Alright, so let's lay out Do you wanna restore garden. the studio? Yeah. Nope. Not at all, because we just need to, like, calm down before we work with our friend again, because we just dealt with Larry. So all we're going right, to do some, some therapeutic, therapeutic herb gardening first. I love being in to instantaneously travel. Maybe my Amazon package came in, and maybe it wasn't made with crappy Oof. labor. If my nose remembers correctly, these should be the exact same herbs as the ones before. When that smells like rosemary, this one smells like dried thyme, this one smells like basil. Oh, that's sage. I love sage. We are not putting the dill back. It is aggressive, and without putting it in a container, we're going to have it everywhere. Yeah, right. So oh, there's also a problem with mint that does yeah, that Mint too. and dill are both very aggressive plants. If you want to look successful at herb gardening, plant either mint or dill. It will take over everything if it's a habitable environment, and you will not, like, you could just be like, look, I have succeeded at the herbs. I have fresh herbs and everything. Everything's flavored mint or dill, but I got it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I, personally, I might be like, 
Maybe you want to go more for dill, because I think there are more dishes you can do mint with, but that also might just be my exposure. You're like dill sauce on absolutely everything, like <laughs> creme de dill, what have you. And then we're going to have like dill on our salads. We're going to have dill fish all the time. Dill on our salads. Dill on our salads. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is dill on our salads. Hey, dill on our salads. I'm peppermint patty. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Um, oh. oh, cute. All right, so I've got these other potted things, and I've already got this sort of like lilac going on over here. Oh, oh that looks, looks like basil. More like I, I want more varieties. Okay, so rosemary, rosemary is actually a a sea plant. So these in the middle look like they're supposed to be a little bit like rosemary to me. I would say, and then you have two other types on the sides, which look like maybe basil and. Um, Maybe not sage because sage is fuzzy. What's another one with a broad leaf? I don't actually know. So I don't I'm not sure know. either. I know herbs a little bit better because yeah. I actually worked in a manufacturing um, spice manufacturing plant for a while. Because I said, as I've said before, my entire like work history is mostly in manufacturing and like some creative stuff on the side. Right. Anyway, um, and so as far as herbs are concerned, like you could have, I don't know. Anyway, um, rosemary is a, a like seaside plant it, and it, it grows on cliffs and right. it absorbs moisture in very humid environments with all of its tiny little leaves yeah so if you want to grow rosemary if your climate is not very humid which the citrus tree suggests warmth and humidity right i was gonna say then it's not going to grow there also it's not about watering them it's about spraying their leaves because that's how they absorb their moisture right their roots are more for hanging on mm -hmm. and you know picking up mineral um nutrients so that's kind of charming but i don't really like the I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure what I feel. I feel like the concrete is a little bit cleaner, but it doesn't match the actual brickwork. Right. And this is just, like, this matches the stone wall, so I think I'm going to go with that. All right, unless we change that later, and that'll be hilarious. Right, and then we'll go, crap, now that doesn't match. But anyway, like, the different types of plants in here do suggest a very humid environment with, like, a lot of rain and stuff. It's very conducive to plant growth. Like, see, these very broad leaf things that are just sort of to catch the rain and run it away from their roots so they don't get waterlogged all the right? time. Yeah. Well, that's one of the reasons, though, also having, like, the raised bed might be a good thing. Because when it's on the ground, it really can't get away from anything. Like, it's channeling it down and away. I say, so I this, is, this is the things people consider, actually, when you're doing gardening. It's really not just, put the stuff in the ground. It's a lot of going, what do each plant Raised need? Raised beds can also be really good for controlling weeds. Right. Um, so I have a, a, I don't know. a relative torn. who gardens a lot, and they talked about raised beds. Aesthetically, though, I think I like this one best. Ah, all right, since we're not actually only, trying to have a true garden I'll say only because of the rocks over here, and so it sort of matches in. Right. So we'll do that. It's herbtastic. I'm surprised that you only grew like like three different varieties of, you know, Yeah, herb. I know. It's kind of weird. Like herb gardens usually have more because herbs don't take up a lot of space. So most people don't use a whole lot of herb, which is why nope. you can have like window box herb gardens. Right. With like nine different kinds of herbs in them. But it's also that thing too of like so with some of them you really can just, they'll overgrow everything. That's why <laughs> you usually are like, here's your tiny plot pot and here's your tiny <laughs> pot and here's your tiny pot because chill. Yeah, like, and so it's, it's a, which is why the live, like the fresh herb gardens, you're expected to use them because then you trim them regularly, they don't seed on the other plants, and they stay, they sm stay small and focused. Right. All right. So much buzzing. The bees must love this stuff. But they're not any Unless flowers. it's flowering, there's not going to have a lot of bees there usually. Hmm. Um, I'm like, the what kind of plant would sweet be Sweet basil, maybe? So it s smells sweet and they check it out immediately. Ooh, like, because we did mention that looks like a basil plant. Right. So, so it could maybe? be that one. I say the one on the end though isn't really striking me as anything other than potentially oh. mint, which is way too much. There we go. Hey, I don't actually see any bees. Well, maybe it's wasps. So, oh dear. what's that buzzing? I right, let's find out. That was an excellent, excellent, well done. No hey. flowers. You know what? This game continues to surprise me with little things that are very thoughtful. Like as much as it has some, like some either some tropes or stereotypes that I don't like in places. Things like this make me very happy occasionally. Uh -huh. or when we can predict the text, like the next logical response would be this, and then it is. Right. It's well, great. It's also the one of those things of going. You guys have clearly got some interesting amounts of the developer, like the developer backgrounds. They're all like, we've actually done some of this stuff before. Yeah. And this is what we kind of expect out of our stuff. And then there's some of it that drops off, but that's right. okay. It's a drone. It is. It's a drone. Or I don't think I've ever seen a drone in just an app game ever. I know. First experience, y'all. First experience. Yay! Hey, we'll do this together. All right. Arf. 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 I just, arf. I'm like, you can't arf with the gur face, but that's okay. Arf. Arf. All right. And it's Larry being a dork. Look at how many statues are there. Oh, my Lord. All right. Arf. Here we go. Oh. Arf. We're just going to stand here for a second and make dog noise at each other. Arf. 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 Arf.
so the thing oh, is, is I feel huskies. Like huskies. Like huskies. Huskies. I feel so bad for huskies. They're so smart compared to some other dogs, and they can be so destructive. They're very and so wild. very curious dogs. Like and because they're smart and so and they're also curious. There are some dogs that don't have the same level of curiosity to understand. It's true. But like huskies have been compared to like a three to five year old child where they're trying to figure out everything in the world, including carpet feels different than linoleum. Why? And if you can't explain it to them, they just keep going, but the kitchen floor is different than the living room floor and I need to cry about it because I need to understand. Uh-huh. And so it can be very little things like that. Anyway. And they require so much attention. And please don't get a husky unless you really want to spend time with an incredibly active dog. Like, I think on this channel, I really want to reinforce that if you cannot afford the bare minimum requirements, and I don't even say bare minimum, like just the, the minimum requirements for taking care if of you any can't animal. Keep an animal in a happy, balanced, you know, well accommodated way, the way you would like to be kept if someone were keeping you. Right? Don't keep it. Yeah, like, don't torture animals. Just please. I know it's a controversial topic. Nonetheless, I feel strongly about it. It's very frustrating. So d do your best. If you have animals already, try and do your best for them. And then plan for the future. Larry. And if any of you are named Larry, that was not directed at you. If you have animals, plan for the future. Larry. Larry. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Uh, All right, so, save Roxy, save Roxy. Yeah, we gotta save Roxy. That's a more immediate action. So we've actually been talking about this term called ludonarrative dissonance recently. Oh where boy. we watched a really cool video on it. And so what I'm doing here is trying to keep the dissonance out of going, and, and we'll talk about the term in detail later. But basically, it's gameplay lining up with story in the game. Or, right. You know, and so here, the story says the immediate thing to deal with is the drone. So we're gonna do that. Right. No one puts Roxy in a corner. Not even the bees. Oh, oh really? Dang! Oh! Good job! Amazing! Okay, we need, we need like, the spear thrower, the javelin thrower at the Ren Fair uh -huh. taking down the uh, drone. It's okay, Fuzzy Face. It's gone now. Boo loo loo loo. I will pet oh, We did face. call them Fuzzy Face. <gasps> and it. Didn't we change Dog's name? Mm mm. Damn, I was gonna be like. That seems like a name we would freaking call a dog. It does. I said we didn't get to change dog's name. She picked Roxy, and this was that was not something we could control in this one. I would say, but right now I think even though it's capitalized, it's just a term of endearment. Oh yeah, absolutely. I would say, just but like, yeah. Hey, I just bought that. You're in my room. You said the yard is mine, dude. I'll buy you a new one. Don't you have anything better to do than harass a dog? Bless you. Then harass a sneeze. Harass a, a cheese. A, ch a chew. Harass a chew. Sorry, Larry. Larry. I, excuse me. That came uh, out really suddenly. I apologize. I dog is like that's because we're allergic to bullshit. Dog. I sneeze on you in solidarity. In yes. solidarity. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then harass a dog. No, no, no need to get all heated about it. We were just goofing around, right, Roxy? You really were just bringing the drone around to make the dog? You were You're really... super bored, dude. Like, you seem incredibly bored. Okay, this kind of behavior at this point suggests that he's lonely. Like, this kind of invasive, I need to be involved with what you're doing and I'm going to keep messing with your stuff, even though it is aggressive and there's no, like, we haven't made permission for it, it suggests he's very lonely. Mm -hmm. Like, profoundly lonely. Uh-huh, and that thing of going, what I've done is compensated in my life by being hypersocial, but I'm extremely empty because I haven't figured out actually what I'm trying to get out of it. And I have shoved my way into social situations repeatedly to try and find involvement. Even if it is, I am deliberately harassing you, that is how I know how to get involvement. Now, granted, if somebody does it, do, do does that, this, if they do does, if they do the do, if they do it, if they do, if they do this thing, you do not have to forgive them. You do not have like to put it, up with you it. You don't have to put up with it. You don't have to let them get away with it. You just be like, dude, you need to go get some help, and you should not be putting this on me. I'm not your caretaker. And again, you can ask for help from your support groups. If you find yourself completely alone, try to navigate what kind of even professional support you can get. Even if it's something that seems drastic, like calling the police and going, I've asked you to leave my property, or just going, hey, I'm going to call the non-emergency number and go, hey, could you bring your female officer over here to support me enforcing my own boundaries? I don't want him escorted off the scene or anything. I just want you to be there while I tell him you need to sleep. Right. Like, there there can be that kind of social solidarity depending on how the police work in your area. There's also, again, for us, at least that I know for Lily, I'm like, dude, just get Regina. Right? Like, Ask Regina, Regina has to help you. Like, she this is offered, ridiculous. Yeah, she totally has offered to help. And that's something of going, Lily, you don't have to do this on your own. Yes. Especially if you don't know how. You Grr. didn't say, Arf. there we are. 
Look, look, I'm just trying to blow off some steam. Today's a stressful day. If that's an excuse. It's an understanding. Am I going to turn into a caretaker at this point and go, all right, I am a woman who's been raised as a caretaker for men. Tell me why it's been a stressful day. Please don't. <laughs> stressful. For you. For you? Right. For right. you. Uh-huh. Yeah, with the move and all. I'm... Sounds a little rough. Your hand blending into your polka dots is bothering oh, me God, so hard. Oh, God, that was messing with me really <laughs> hard, too. I was like, what happened to his hand? Please, blow off steam elsewhere. I'm working on this section of the grounds today. All right, so she's she's being more A firm, more direct, and making it very clear. Going, blow off steam elsewhere where I'm not working. And also going, I didn't ask any... I love that. She didn't ask any other questions. She just went, great. I'm working over here today, so blow off somewhere else. So I've always been socialized that really, when people tell you they're having a problem, that you ask. You go, oh, why? Oh, it's been super stressful to me. Oh, really? How? That you start immediately, basically caretaking. Right. And going, all right, well, let me help you with your problem so I can then take care of me because you're in my way. Instead of just going, look, do this somewhere else. That's actually a very response, very healthy response. On it really part. is. It's I love also it. like, I, you're not required to take care of someone. Right? Oh, right. Right, that dog loves me though. She's gonna miss me. You sound lonely, my dear. You really do. How can we miss him if he never leaves? Roxy, how? Give me your beautiful dog face. How are we going to miss him, huh? If dog. he doesn't leave, I will scratch bite your... his ass. I will bite him. Ah, what I am missing around here is some water. In the pond. That's a pond? Over there. Oh, damn. Is that a pond? It's a man made pond. Damn, I didn't even... Please tell me we'll put... Good job, Lily, for recognizing that as a pond, because I did not. I just thought it was an interesting rock garden. You I know. thought it was a really cool zero-scape garden kind right? of thing. Like, these are natural plants that grow in the area kind of thing. Like, right? That would be cool. so cool. Uh-huh. All right, let's see. Honestly, I actually am kind of curious. Oh, here's the pond over on this side with the rocks. Oh. And there's like a waterfall thing maybe to go with it? Right. All right, I'm going to go talk to my friend Regina now. That's like... what I'm going to do. Being like, I could use this thing. But first, I'm gonna go deal with my friend as well. Oh no, it's gonna be free lives! Oh god, here we, we talked go. about They are ah! extremely generous with the free lives, like wildly generous. If you wanna play this game, really, you're gonna end up with free lives all over the place. They do frequent events and activities. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool, but sometimes when you end up with five and a half hours of free lives, it's a little daunting because you feel like you need to use them. But you know, you can't live on a tablet for five and a half hours. There's also that thing too, so here here are your, your, your uh, um, supportive figures for the day going, <laughs> it's okay to put it down. It, it is. really is genuinely all right. It will be okay. There will be another chance. Uh, and yes. this is not uh, this is not an environment of fear of missing out yes. or lack of uh, or scarcity mentality. Part of that statement of going they give you free lives frequently and have events every couple of days that just give you free lives right at the outset. That kind of thing and or your daily rewards is going you're not missing out if you don't use them all. And again, if you're not having fun with something like this, please don't play it. Yeah, put it like, down. The thing is is you should not feel guilty or bad. It's like the same thing for a book. You don't like the book? Put the damn book down. And it's okay. You don't have to feel any obligation to engage in something that's not making you happy. Exactly. So, what do you think of the Restore Vintage Italian Studio Challenge, huh? Oh, there we go. Uh, there's a lot we could do in here. I want to try and restore the original tiles. I love that. You're going to do magic on the tiles, too, but also, that's a great idea. That is pretty cool. Can we rebuild the uh, wooden structure underneath it? Right? I'm also like, that's really dangerous to be that close to the big hole. Like, whoa. I imagine she assessed it from the interior first. Let's just assume she's a really competent carpenter. She looked at it from the inside first. If it needed support, she put up a support beam, hammered it in place, and then went up on the top to look at the outside. That could be pretty cool. Like, she could totally have done all the appropriate things. All right. All right, coming down. Design time. All righty. Yes. Look at that thing. I just, I love the roof it has. Oh, I'd love to see oh, the inside. Oh, oh. oh, no, these are adorable. Look oh. at the, oh, no, that's cute. That's very cute. That is super cute. That reminds me very much much of like, uh, uh, oh, God, like Mexican restaurants. Yeah, it really or very was, classic, like, you know, Mexican, like, like housing, like adobo like, housing where you have it a lot of paint and a lot of color. It's adobe. Really, adobe. Mm -hmm. Yes, me. that's okay. I'm like adobo. Adobo sauce housing. It's adobo sauce. Mm, delicious. <laughs> I love your housing. It looks tasty. I love misusing words. Mexican it makes my witch. life so inherently more tasty. Hansel and Gretel, except for with a Mexican witch where she's got the most brilliant house of tortillas. Oh, no. I love it. An adobo sauce roof. She's just like, I've got this. She's like, I got mole. 
And I got mole. I got a mole pond outside. Do you know how hard mole is to make? The history of mole is fascinating too, but we're going to keep moving. <laughs> All right, I'll cover that another time, but I really like this one. This is super cute. All right. Like the plants don't make any sense because they would take time to grow, but like there's this, both of them with the plants are very pretty and the middle one's very classic looking. Even I kind of like that because it's very cute. I also like how it complements the nearby garden where we did some of the whimsy. Now what I want honestly is like that window though, on like the big huge window I here. I want on the wider, I was going to say, I want the picture window. Like I was looking at it and going, I love the big picture window. I also like this whole window was boarded up, which is amazing. So I do, I kind of, I love the colors on this and I wish it had a picture window. Mm, all right, we'll go with it anyway, it's fine. Are you sure? Yes. But it does really complement the garden behind it It nicely. really does, it's, it's that purple. Uh-huh. It's a purple, man, it's purple. great. Everything. Boom! Boom, baby! Hmm. Hey, did you see this? I, I don't know, what is it? What do you find? Is a it a photo? photo? Is it a photo? Jinx. A little photo! Ah! ah! I love it when you can trust Aww, games. Aw, that's super cute. So, when games sort of give oh you Oh my god, there's trust. extended family! There is! Oh my god! Okay, so I'm have, I keep having this problem family. that I have in regards to most stories, most, basically, material and entertainment-wise. Yes. They all go, you are a single entity and you emerged and there's only potentially your parents and that's like it. Like you're isolated very much in a void. And I feel like for me, a lot of it, especially having read a lot of teen and juvenile fiction, that is one of those things of essentially it's a writer's convention where it makes your story simpler to write if you don't have to deal with all those other characters. Um, but I think a lot of people writing from other people's writing experience, like you write the kinds of books you enjoy to read and want to read even more, that you lose context. So I've talked about these match three games a lot in reference to Lost context and going we started with like matchington manor or no 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 you start with um gardenscapes gardenscapes, gardenscapes yeah, yeah, being yeah, the, like... like the first big one of this type i don't know if it was actually the like original as far as timeline is concerned but it was the first big one in the app store and you had this match three and unlock and redecorate and then they exploded I mean... everywhere before that, that there was kind of like Candy Crush, but this is like the one that had a lot of story. Well, even just the redecorate things, Candy Crush doesn't do that. Oh, yeah. This no, is no. a different model. Well, well, you just said match three. I said match three and redecorate. Okay, fine. All right, so so listen closely. Oh, I fine, talk quickly. Mood. I talk very fast. Anyway, um, so if you're losing context for when we did some of the other games that followed the same thing, the same, you know, sort of like formula Format. as and, Gardenscapes, yeah. a lot of them lost important pieces of context as they went along and just grabbed, essentially appropriated the style. And I feel like a lot of writers have that experience too when they go after things, is they kind of pick up the style of the book they want, but they don't think about what all the important elements are and why the author made the choices they did. And also then potentially why they enjoy it or why the audience enjoys mm -hmm. it. Like and in this going, what I'm trying to do is stamp out as many romance books as possible that look like Twilight without asking what made Twilight famous or made and Twilight going, interesting. I only read the first book in Twilight and I did see the first three movies, but I tend to say, I don't know if her grandparents exist. Did she have a generation after her parents? No, I don't think so. So Bella's life is incredibly simplified. Basically, her parents had no siblings because I have no awareness of her having aunts or uncles. Right. And she has no cousins, as far as I know, either. Granted, I was one of those, so you really... I don't know if you can really ask me, because I could barely stomach parts of the first one. Like, I was one of those where I went, I cannot read this book. Okay. Like, it was bothersome, and it felt offensive to me, kind of as a reader, of going like, this feels like it's basically kind of shitting on more or less female characters, oh, so but that's that, an entire that's other totally discussion. That's totally different process, but I what I was going to come down to is essentially this idea of, if you don't have the rest of the family, there should be a reason for it. Right, which or could be really be, cool! Uh, it could be really cool, or, if you're afraid of writing the rest of the family, you can Right, why they're not there, right. and that way, and then that way you address it one way or another. It makes your story feel so much more complete. Like the La Rosa family, 1960. That's my great grandparents. Ah, <gasps> uh, oh, Aunt Mary, Uncle Arthur, and I guess that's Arthur's parents and his sister. That's so love great. Look at that. I love this. They all look so happy. They really do. I mean, the grandparents, like he looks a little bit grumpy, but I think it's really just how he's drawn. He oh, still looks like so he's smiling with a mustache. Oh, so is the sister supposed to be then her mother? Because this is her, I would her aunt and uncle. Yeah. Oh, no, so is then, she great aunt? No, she's great aunt Mary. Great aunt Mary. So okay. I was going to say, yeah, I'm not sure what the relations all are, but that's so cute. And him with his brushes and everything. Uh -huh. I am the artist. Tuna. Ta da That's adorable. That's very cute. Conspicuously absent baby Larry. He should have been born in 1959, if my math is right. 
And it is. We're going to learn actually about his history. Oh, dang. That's going to be fascinating. That sounds great. So I was like, are we going to have like a mildly explanatory arc? I'm not going to necessarily say redemptive arc, because no. you can also have different types of redemption arcs, or at least it's just to explain the point of that character sort of to everyone else and going, okay, I get you better. Cool motive. You'd still commit murder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool motive. Still murder. Right? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Airline. Why isn't he on the picture? You, you better hold on to it. All right. Sounds good. I feel like that okay. should have been in the picture. Now for the pergola. Let's, the pergola. Uh, is it pergola? I think it's pergola. Okay. Now for the pergola. Let's see. The whole thing is collapsed. I assume that's a type of an awning slash open, you know, air kind of deck thing. Right. But I'm not sure what exactly qualifies as a pergola, so I want to see the end result and then I'll know. Right. All right. Look I think at it that. Let's that. find it out. Let's find out. Do I'm do so do curious. Do 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 it won't tap. It won't tap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have no tap. Well, that was some uh, technical difficulties. All right, so welcome back. Here we go. All right, yes. we're going to... Oh, we, we have, have to, to do restore the pond, the pond for... first before we do it. All right, that's fine. They expected us to do the pond first. Oh, okay. But I wanted to go confide in my new kind of friend because I'm very isolated out here. I've moved somewhere potentially a mil million miles from home. You know, the city or the mountains. Those are the only places in the world. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Inspiration overload. I've got so many ideas for this pond. Well, at least three. Oh, that's so self-aware. Ah, I just called myself. That in. is so self-aware. That's Good job. adorable. Okay, I love that. That's beautiful. Again, these tiny little references really just oh, sort of start oh, to no, make my Oh, no, that's day. ridiculous. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The painted rocks are hilarious, though, they but I don't really think I are. want it. I... Okay, so we're going to restore the outside first and then the interior and fill it with water. I... So it is two tiers with a waterfall. Man, we should be clearing out all the stuff first. I feel like the first thing we should be doing is it's digging doing the out all the brush and all the uh, sticks and things like that before we huh. redecorate this. I actually don't know which one I like more. I like the ca that there's a cactus on this one. That's pretty cute. Yeah, but we don't have a lot of cacti in the other ones. We so don't. And feels... then you've got your sort of palm here. This feels like too much to me, though. That feels like too much, but also what I want, I'm like, there's a potted plant, right? So I want the potted plants to kind of match oh, the other Oh, to match one. the other one, so it's not So that's why I'm disappointed. That and... cactus pot could totally have matched these pots over by the house, but they're like, this is the theme for that This match. is the silly one. I don't know. I don't really like, yeah, the, I think this one is my favorite, honestly. Yeah, let's go with it's that It's got one. the most color without being, like, goofy, and it sort of ties together with, again, you have more purple over here. Again, not to say there's anything wrong with goofy, but I don't think that's necessarily the effect we're going through. I, I wasn't meaning to use goofy derogatory. No, I appreciate it. Okay, all right, I'm here just we go. saying, like, just for as an aside, because not everybody oh, knows. the sticks are gone, too. It's fantastic. Don't Woo! you think so, baby? Looking good now. This must have been really soothing for Uncle Arthur. Or maybe for everybody. I just love the sound of water. A little babbling brook of his very own. I mean, a pond is not a babbling brook. Brooke. If it has a motor that runs through, it can behave like one. That's true, but so, I'm like, but a but pond, yeah, it is, is not the same. So I'd it's say. a cycling pond, then, is what we're talking about. It sounds like it, yeah. That it has actually like a oh, cycling no. motor. It's the cat bull, the, oh, the waterfall no, it's cat, the waterfall bull. cat bull. Yay! We're gonna have cats from all over the neighborhood going here, right here is the only place I'll <gasps> drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's cat. I need to be let out before bedtime. I need to go get a drink. Quick! No, we're still missing the babbling, though. Must be something clogging up the pump, or... Oh, God. Mechanics mm. are so interesting sometimes with mm. water. Oh, Unclog unclog. the pond stream. Do it! Hang on, I'm like, has this thing been trying gently to pump water the entire time, but it's clogged? Aww. That motor is so resilient, like, wow! Uh, well, I mean, we just have infinity stuff. It's fine. Right. Oh, no, she's gonna get soaked. Oh, I want to see your feet just get whoosh, washed out from under uh -huh. you. You fall on your butt in the pond, and you're like, you know what? You know what? This is okay. Honestly, it's really refreshing. And while I could take this in a negative fashion, I'm just gonna be like, Roxy, come on in. Let's laugh about this. Well, Roxy, would be great. Okay. Let's see what the deal is with this thing. Hmm. Gets down on hands and knees. Sticks face in the tunnel. Hmm. <laughs> Dog. Okay. Oh, I'm waiting. <laughs> Here we go. It's time to do magic. I won't believe it's magic. Do 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 do. It's a photo. All right. Twist, pull, nothing working. But what's in the pipe? If your photo has survived being like shoved against with water pressure this entire time, what are your photos even made of? Like, wow. Another photo. <laughs> what? Yeah. Your face so hard, blasting you across the street. Oh, God. This must be a clue to how I kick Larry out. Right, Aunt Mary? This must be what you're doing. Did you really set up this whole story knowing that you were going to die? Wow, this is this so is morbid. This is amazing and slightly morbid. And <laughs> um, did you or did you have basically your lawyer set it up for you? Did you have someone else help you do this? 
Don't know. Let's I want to know Come the on. story behind how this was set up because holy cow. I like the fact that this is a, sort of a little subtle mystery. Uh-huh. That's kind of wild. All right. Here we go. Oh, oh. no, that's cute. Mm, he's adorable. That's true. Shoulders, though, like linebacker shoulders. <clears throat> like, really. Like, like he's... he's uh, seems far too small. Like, but, I mean, compared to the rest of his, like, legs and his arms and stuff, that is a lot of shoulder. Oh, that's fair. I'm so I'm just saying, in comparison, like his build, if you didn't he, have a size for, next to other people, you'd just be like, you are a lot of shoulder. You are Julian. You are Julian. Not enough leg. Oh, uh, hey. he, he says, says quite a Dorito, though. Uh, yeah, very Dorito. It's just Uncle Arthur painting a lemon tree. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe Larry was allergic to lemons. Or it's because he looks like a giant lemon. <gasps> or Arthur's still alone. Or... I... maybe I'm supposed to figure it out a little bit slower. Nope, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you, you are correct. But still lemons, you know. All right, pergola or no pergola? To pergola or not to pergola? Hmm. All right, no clue and no water. So what's next on my almost to-do list? Well, right. you know... Ah! Ah! Sounds like right now is a good time to stop. So thank you very much, guys, for joining us. Um, if you want to actually help support us, you actually we have some couple of cute links down below for our, both of our Patreon, and we've also got a coffee. So if you really like our stuff but want us to see play uh, see us play like other games and help us actually get those games, because we've got game goals down below. We do below. have game goals. It's so exciting. Um, please, please, I am going to request go take a look see see if any of those strike your fancy, or if you have any game suggestions, that would also be cool too. So I have uh, been scandal. I say otherwise, like, comment, and subscribe, which we love to hear from you. And I have been Lies, and it was great playing with you. Bye!